Welcome to Data Millennials. I'm Atul and I'm super excited to talk about the float function in SQL. So what exactly is this float function? This float function comes under the numerical function in SQL and it returns the largest integer value that is equal to or less than the number. So this function returns the largest integer value. So you might think that where exactly this float function will be useful. So this will be useful when you are dividing a particular numeric column with certain numbers and if you want the number which is largest value ne nearest to that number then you can use this float function so let's take an example suppose i have a marks table over here and all of these marks are obtained by this student for all of these five or seven subjects Let, let's take seven subject so in order to take that average mark for each and every student what we have to do is that we have to divide this total marks by 7 right so what we can do here is that we can write select a star comma so after this comma we'll simply put this marks divided by 7 as average marks okay because we have seven subjects so now if I run this query you will see that you are getting the value with decimal places right 7.8571 now if you want to have the absolute value either 7 or 9 then you can use the mathematical function or the numerical functions in in SQL and this floor function provides you the largest integer value that is equal to or less than a number so it is it will give you the largest value that is equivalent to this 7 or less than this 7 so it's 7.8 it cannot go less than 7 so it will always give you 7 so this 8.4 after using this floor function will give you 8 so let's go and see how exactly this floor function works so let's keep this average marks column as it is and let's put this function floor and within this floor we'll put this marks divided by 7 okay and we'll rename this column as average marks underscore version one okay and let's run this query now when we have used this floor function you can see that it's giving us or it's returning us the largest integer value from this column that is equal to or less than these numbers So this is how basically you use floor function in SQL while you are using any calculations. Now if you want to understand or learn more about SQL you can click on the right hand side of this video or if you are interested in Excel you can click on the left hand side of this video. Happy learning and see you in the next video.